I don't know if Kemmer would have survived if we lost the power plant and the coal mine both. It may have just turned into a ghost town. I um, born and raised here in this community and I did not want to have to leave. I have um, children here, I have parents here, and um, the idea of having to move away and work in another location was pretty scary. When they were out here for public meetings, they talked about a two-year training program for people that will be working in the nuclear. So the timing works out really well. Uh, you know, so a lot, most of those details have not been ironed out yet. But pretty much most of the people out here that, uh, you know, are going to want to be part of that facility should have the opportunity. I'm not uh, really on that bandwagon that everything is going to be green. I mean, with the snowstorm we had, you have people stuck out there in those electric cars, they're in trouble. And, uh, you know, so, but I am absolutely for saving our environment. And if we get in on the ground floor, of being part of SAVE and, and making our environment uh, better. I'm all for that. With what's happening here with the Nature and Power Plant, um, that's, that's the survival of our community. So we fully expect you know, a massive expansion of wind and solar, and we're for that. But to complement that wind and solar, if, if we're going to shut off the fossil sources over time, we really need a source like nuclear that's emission-free and that's running 24-7. Uh, we're a nuclear innovation company that was started by Bill Gates and others 14 years ago. Uh, and th the whole premise was that nuclear science has really been underutilized to solve today's problems, uh, world problems in uh, energy needs, uh, climate management, and even medicine. So, um, just like in a coal plant where you'd have combustion, instead we have fission creating the heat. And so we have to remove the heat from the fuel. And the way we remove the heat from the fuel is with liquid sodium. Today's reactors are safe, but uh, natrium is that next level of, of safety. Um, doesn't rely on any outside sources of power to keep the reactor safe, you know, following some unexpected event. Uh, there's uh, design differences too. Instead of being water cooled, it, it's cooled by molten sodium, which we showed you in, in the lab today. Um, and we think sodium is really a superior coolant. It has great attributes for efficiency and, and for keeping the reactor safe. Sodium fast reactor. So why is it better to have... Uh... And we can heat the sodium up in here. We can actually see what that process would look like. Um, you know, for sure, today's reactors produce used nuclear fuel that needs to be managed closely. But if you look at the volume of used nuclear fuel from 
about 100 reactors operating for decades, and you put all of that used fuel in one place, it could fit on a football field 10 meters deep. You know, so compare that to the amount of carbon emissions you would have faced from providing 20% of the nation's electricity for, for decades. And you, know, you can see where kind of the sustainability argument is for, for nuclear. In fact, nuclear power does generate highly uh, radioactive materials, which are uh, carcinogenic, and it generates volumes of waste, which um, are, will persist in the environment for hundreds of thousands of years. Uh, and so it's, it's hard to brand nuclear power as clean uh, unless you're just talking about that one emission of, of carbon dioxide. So, um, so I think that's a misleading uh, label uh, for nuclear power. Well, there's no plan for disposal of the waste from new reactors uh, any more than there is a plan for disposal of the waste from the existing reactors. This country, in fact, almost every country around the world with nuclear power does not have a long-term uh, stable disposal solution for that waste. So it's just accumulating above ground in facilities that were never intended to store waste for very long periods of time in a secure fashion.